Ladies and gentlemen, I have the declaration of result of poll for Rushcliffe Borough Council, election of a Member of Parliament for the Rushcliffe Parliamentary Constituency on Thursday, the 8th of June 2017. I, Alan Graham, being the Acting Returning Officer for the Rushcliffe Constituency, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate is as follows. Clark, Kenneth Harry, the Conservative Party candidate, 30,223. Faithful, Matthew Eric, UKIP, 1,490. Malander, George Richard, the Green Party, 1,626. Mellon, David, Labour Party, 22,213. Phoenix, Jane, Liberal Democrat, 2,759. There were 157 spoilt papers, two for want of an official mark, 49 for voting for more candidates than the voter was entitled, 106 being unmarked for holy void and uncertainty. The vacant seats, uh, the electorate was 74,738. Ballot papers issued 58,477. Turnout 78.24%. And I do hereby declare that Kenneth Harry Clark is duly elected as Member of Parliament for the Rushcliffe constituency. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I first give my grateful thanks to the electors of Rushcliffe. Uh, I have been elected a few times before, but I always regarded it as a privilege uh, to be asked again to represent the constituents with whom I seek to identify very closely. I feel that they are the kind of people that I'm familiar with, and I will do my best to represent them uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, I thank the returning officer uh, and all those people who've helped with the organization of today and with the count. Uh, I have occasionally made uh, flippant remarks about the late conclusion of the Rushcliffe uh, count on some occasions. I have been proved totally wrong on this occasion and the whole thing has been conducted extremely smoothly. It's always conducted smoothly and efficiently, but it's also been done with remarkable speed. So we, uh, at least uh, this part of the election result, is concluding at a perfectly reasonably civilised hour of the morning. But anyway, congratulations and thanks to all those who've taken part. Uh, congratulations and thanks to my opponents. We always have a civilised election in the Rushcliffe constituency. I think this one was. Uh, it's the strangest one ever fought because the... Prime Minister, very inconveniently from my point of view, decided to hold this election when I was having to have medical treatment and had an operation. So I've never campaigned less in all my life, but I managed to campaign a bit. And in my encounters uh, with my opponents, political opponents, it was, as usual, very civilised, very fair, very congenial. And I congratulate them on the campaign they ran on behalf of their respective political parties. Uh, I will resist the temptation at this time of the morning to start indulging my own version of punditry on what is turning out to be one of the most remarkable uh, general elections that I can remember for a very long time, with the national result still in doubt, huge regional variations. Uh, I think we are in the middle of great events. Uh, the whole structure of politics has been changing in the last two or three years. The old confident predictions you could make a few years ago can no longer confidently be made uh, and uh, we're still waiting to see what kind of parliament we'll have tomorrow. Uh, this parliament will have to address some very great and historic matters because it isn't just Brexit, a lot of very big problems going to face us in the next five years. I'll conclude as I began. It will therefore be a particular privilege to be able to take part in the political debates and discussions there, and uh, I will certainly try to make sure that the opinions of all the inhabitants of Rushcliffe are properly and effectively represented in the time that I will serve. Thank you all very much. <laughs>